the bombshell of the evening, Paul George to OKC. It started with a grand welcome party, a celebration of a return to relevancy, a recovery from the contending recession. Last summer, a year after losing Kevin Durant, the Thunder landed Paul George to pair with the reigning MVP, Russell Westbrook, and with it, restored themselves back to the apparent elites. It's a chance and an opportunity to play for something special and to ultimately try to win a championship. It was a second chance for a jilted superstar and new life for a heartbroken franchise. Carmelo Anthony joined a couple months later, and the Thunder had assembled a just add water super team. Be able to play uh, with those two guys and the rest of the guys we have, it, it's amazing, man. And uh, I'm looking forward to it, man. It's going to be exciting. From the beginning of the season, everyone around the team warned against overreactions as they anticipated a bumpy road. But the process came along even slower than anticipated. They're going to lose their fourth consecutive game of the Go to two and five on the road. And a record of four and seven. I don't think anybody foresaw that. And finally, when it appeared to really get rolling, they lost their starting shooting guard and the potential defensive player of the year, Andre Robertson, to an injury. Oh, goodness. Robertson lost his footing. Slipped and went down hard on his backside. Ouch, ouch, ouch. There were still those tantalizing flashes of something impressive. Westbrook sees an opening and throws it down. There's that nuclear athleticism of Russell Westbrook. But the inconsistency plagued them. Harris gets the gas. Wins. It was never a specific issue, but a series of isolated ones that fluctuated on any given night. They could never plug the holes to the boat because they didn't even really know where the water was pouring in from. And in the first round matchup against the Jazz, they finally ran out of life jackets. The OK3 season is over. Utah advances to take on Houston. It's most straightforward to label this a grand failed experiment. A super team in name, but not game. With hubris as much a culprit of failure as fit or function. They were just never quite as good as they believed themselves to be. They finished with one more total win than last season when Westbrook supposedly had no help. But there's another side to it. It could also be year one of an extended restoration project. An epically disappointing year one to be sure, but the first plot point to a new timeline. Coast to coast! Oh, the hammer dunk from Russell Westbrook! It's as you were for the Thunder, back to the rocky waters of the unknown, waiting on another superstar to tell them where to point their rudder, as Paul George's free agency is the next matter at hand. Step back three! Oh! <laughs> Now, somehow, Westbrook and the Thunder have to convince him there's something more than what met the eye.